assalamu alaikum students uh, today we will do the next topic of chapter number 6 which is exercise 6b in previous lecture we have done the multiplication and division of algebraic fractions and now today in today's lecture we will discuss about addition and subtraction of algebraic fractions right in book 1 or in class 6 you have learned to simplify sim and denominator with the same number and so this will make so now when the denominators are same so what you will do is just write it under one fraction right and add so your answer is a this is your answer this is how you will simplify the fraction right now i will do another part from the same question this is the question now i will write another question and solve it in front of you you will get Uh, i will do c part for you let me write it 1 over 3c minus 1 over 3d now to solve it we check that 3 and 3 both are same so we write lcm 3 cd right so how we will solve it we uh, lcm is 3 cd we already have 3 and we already have c so we multiply d both in numerator and denominator in this fraction and we multiply uh, c both in numerator and denominator in this fraction so you will write minus and in the second fraction you will multiply c we will write d over now the denominators are same so we will write 3 c d d minus c right do not cancel c or d in his this is your answer you cannot cancel until they are completely factorized or if there is some number common or as a variable is common then you can cancel it this is your answer right this is question part c of this question i will do another part
in this question. So, in this question, I will do another part of this. I will write it for you. This is F part. It's the same. P plus 3 over 6 Z plus P minus 1 over 6 Z minus 2 P plus 1 over 3 Z. First step is to keep bracket so that if you have minus sign you can e easily remember to change the sign right then sorry this is 2z 2z this is 2z okay and i'll differentiate z by this okay now the lcm of 2 6 and 3 will be 6 and z so this is the lcm of this whole question 2z now to make it 6 we multiply this fraction by 3 both in numerator and in denominator this fraction you already have 6 in denominator so what you will do you will just multiply it with 1 and in the last fraction you have 3 so multiply 2 both in numerator and in denominator so i will write here 3 bracket p plus 3 and 3 multiply by 2 and z right plus here i will multiply 1 if you want to or you can leave it as it is right it's i'm just doing it to, to make it clear to you and then in the last fraction you multiply 2 bracket 2p plus 1 over 2 multiply by 3 z right to make it seem like lcm then in numerator we expand it you remember expansion first exercise of this uh, class so 3p plus 9 over 6z plus p minus 1 over 6z minus 4p plus 2 do not change the sign here right you have to only multiply 2 when we write it under one single fraction and then when we expand it or we just open the bracket to make it simplify then we change the sign so this is 6 keep them in brackets now the lcm or denominator are same so what we will do we write 6 z then we write 3 p plus 9 plus p minus 1 now when you open the bracket change the sign right so this will be 3p like terms add like terms or rearrange according to like terms plus 9 minus 1 minus 2 over 6 z so this is 4p minus 4p plus 8 minus 2 over 6 and 9 minus 1 is 8 and then minus 2 this plus and minus both are same terms one with plus sign and one with negative sign both will cancel out 8 minus 2 equals to 6 uh, 6 over 6 z now this 6 and this 6 will cancel out if everything in numerator is cancelled out what is left 1 not 0 so we write 1 over z so this is your answer i have done three parts from this question exercise uh, 6b question number one rest of the parts you will do it yourself right using the same method okay now we start with question number two question number two is also same uh, here we have to express each of the following as a fraction in its simplest form right so i will write some questions i will write question number two part a 5 over a plus 3 over a plus 
four. Now the LCM will be a bracket a plus four. You will multiply it because this is a and this is a plus four. There are two different terms. So a multiplied by a plus four to make it same like the uh, LCM. We multiply this fraction by a plus four and this fraction by a. So we write five bracket a plus four a bracket a plus four plus here only a is missing. So we multiply a. A plus four. In numerator, we do the expansion. Use arrows so that you cannot miss any number by for multiplying. Five a plus twenty. A bracket a plus four. Plus three a bracket a bracket a plus four. Now the denominators are same. A bracket a plus four. You can write it one time. Five a plus twenty plus three a. So the answer will be rearrange the like term. Eight a plus twenty a bracket a plus four. This is your answer. Right. This is your answer for the. Question. Now I will do C part. Four over d minus five plus two over two d plus three. Now the LCM will be. These both brackets, right? So you will write LCM is equals to d minus five and two d plus three. In this first fraction, two d plus three is missing, so you multiply both in numerator and denominator with the term. And in this fraction, um, d minus five is missing, so you will multiply both that in numerator and in denominator. So four two d plus three. Two bracket d minus five, two d plus three, d minus five. So in numerator expand it. Eight d plus four is a twelve over d minus five, d plus three plus. Two d minus ten over d minus five and two d plus three. Now both the denominators are same. So what you will do? Just write it under one fraction. Eight d plus twelve plus two d minus ten. Right? Eight plus Uh, two is equals to ten. This is eight. Eight. Ten d plus twelve minus ten is plus two. Sign of bigger value and you subtract it. And then d minus five two d plus three. So. The question is that you can simplify, simplify it. So if there is any number common, you can also take it outside. So two is common. So five d plus one over two d plus three. This is your answer for this question. Okay. Now, uh, sometimes we apply the identities which we have discussed before uh, in these question to simplify it, right? So I will do two parts for you more, two parts to clear to make you understand how we apply the identities, right? So I will do G part for you in this question. We are doing question number two, G part. 
थ्री ओवर फोर एम स्क्वायर माइनस वन माइनस फाइव ओवर टू एम प्लस वन सो चेक इफ यू कैन अप्लाई द आइडेंटिटी येस हेयर वी कैन अप्लाई द आइडेंटिटी नंबर थ्री राइट सो एल सी एम विल बी दैट आइडेंटिटी फोर एम स्क्वायर माइनस वन विच इज इक्व टू टू एम होल स्क्वायर माइनस वन स्क्वायर वन स्क्वायर इज ऑलवेज वन सो वी राइट द आइडेंटिटी यू नो दैट ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ए माइनस बी एंड ए प्लस बी राइट यू रिमेंबर द आइडेंटिटी सो फॉर वन टाइम यू राइट विथ प्लस एंड वन टाइम यू राइट इट विथ माइनस सो दिस इज योर एल सी एम राइट सो इन दिस पार्ट यू कैन राइट इन एक्सपेंडेड फॉर्म माइनस फाइव टू एम प्लस वन नाउ चेक दैट इन दिस पार्ट टू एम माइनस वन इज मिसिंग हेयर यू मल्टीप्लाई वन एंड हेयर यू मल्टीप्लाई टू एम माइनस वन बोथ इन न्यूमिरेटर एंड इन डिनोमिनेटर सो हेयर यू मल्टीप्लाई वन और जस्ट राइट इट एज इट इज now expand it do not change the sign here next step Not change the sign. So this is three plus five minus ten m. It has also plus sign and this has also plus sign. And eight minus ten m. And if you want to write it back in identity form, you can write four m square minus one. This is same two m plus one and two. So this is your answer. This is how we can apply identity number थ्री ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज एच पार्ट एंड इन एच पार्ट टू ओवर एन माइनस टू प्लस थ्री ओवर एन माइनस टू स्क्वायर नाउ यू कैन see that here we will not apply identity number 2 right we just write n minus 2 and n minus 2 two times to make it more simpler uh, to make it uh, easy for solving right so we write to lcm is n minus 2 and n minus 2 we write it two times right so here one n minus 2 is missing so we write n minus 2 and in denominator n minus 2 One was already there, and one we multiply, and here we multiply one, n minus two, n minus two. We just write it in this in this form. So now, two n minus four, n minus two, n minus two plus three, n minus two, and n minus two. Right now, write it under one bracket, n minus two, n minus two. Two n minus four plus three. So minus four plus three we subtract, but we use the sign of minus. This is your question number two, right? This is your question number two. Rest of the question you will do it yourself. okay now we start with the next question which is intermediate level and intermediate level we also do the same method which we are doing i will do some questions for you and rest of the question you will do it yourself <coughs> so this is now we start with question number 3 right and in question number 3 we start with 
now we start question number 3 and i will start with c part c part is 4f let me write it 4f 10f minus 5d plus 2d 6f minus 3d let me check it again yes now in denominator check if there is any number or any term any variable common so you can take it outside 4f here 5 is common so what is left 2f minus d plus 2d here 3 is common so 2f minus d right now 2f minus d 2f minus d is same in both denominator so we write lcm is equals to 15 2f minus d we multiply the numbers right so in fra first fraction you have to make it 53 we multiply 3 both in numerator and in denominator and in second fraction we multiply 5 both in numerator and in denominator so we write Now check that if there is any uh, number common, you can write it or otherwise you can write your answer like this. So this is your answer you, or you can take two common, those most common 6f plus 5d over 15 2f minus d. This is also, you can also simplify it further, right? This is how you will do question number uh, 3. This is the question number 3. okay now the next question you will do the remaining part yourself uh, now the next question is question number four and question number four we will also apply the same method which we are doing before right question number four is i will do a part for you 3a over 3a minus 5 plus 4a over 4a minus 1 so the lcm will be 3a minus 5 and 4a minus 1 right in this first fraction 4a minus 1 is missing and in the second fraction 3a minus 5 so you will multiply both in numerator and in denominator right so here we start um, 4a minus 1 and 3a over 3a minus 5 4 a minus 1 plus 4 a 3 a minus 5 and 3 a minus 5 and 4 a minus 1 so numerator you will expand and in denominator just write it as it is 3 a minus 5 and 4 a minus 1 12 a square minus 3 a plus 12 a square plus minus 20 do not change the minus 20 a 
है वो थ्री ए माइनस फाइव एंड फोर ए माइनस वन दिस विल कैंसल आउट प्लस ट्वेल्व एंड माइनस सॉरी ट्वेल्व बोथ हैव प्लस साइंस राइट माइनस थ्री ए माइनस ट्वेंटी ए सो इट इट विल बिकम ट्वेंटी फोर ए स्क्वायर माइनस ट्वेंटी थ्री ए ओवर थ्री ए माइनस फाइव एंड फोर ए माइनस वन This is your question, right? Okay. Now in this question, see that in this question you will make the LCM as m bracket m plus four and m minus three. So in which bracket, in which fraction, whatever is missing, you will keep that in bracket and then expand it. Similarly, in this e part, in the middle you will apply the third identity x minus y and x plus y, and then uh, take the LCM as x minus y and x plus y. And in the c part you will take common and then uh, do the uh, uh, simplification of the fractions and then. And subtract the two equations. So I will do this part for you. C part. You have h plus five and h square minus six h minus three h minus six. In this exercise also, we will apply all those methods which we have done. We will we can also apply the identities in some questions. We can take common. So revise all these uh, of. The topics, right? So now here in this part, h bracket h minus six minus three bracket h minus six. LCM will be h bracket h minus six, right? In this part, you will multiply one, or you keep it as it is. And in this part, you multiply by h. H bracket H minus six H plus five minus three H, right? So H minus a five minus two H bracket H bracket H minus six. This is your answer. This is question number four of uh, exercise six B. Remaining questions you will do yourself, right? Now I will do the last question of this exercise, and also uh, in the in these parts you will have to apply breaking up of middle term to simplify your question. So I will do B part for you, and rest of the question you will do it your uh, you will do yourself, right? So question number five. B part, let me write it. One over b square minus five b minus six minus b over b minus six. Right. First step is to break the middle term. Then to um, so my, make the factor of minus six so that you get uh, minus five in the middle. Right. So this is. Minus six. So one multiply by minus six is equals to minus six. One minus six is equals to minus five. So these are the factors, right? Minus three multiply by minus two makes it plus six. And when you add minus three and minus two, it will make uh, minus five. But you required minus six when you multiply, and when you add, you required minus five. So these 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 are the factors. So you will write one over. B square minus one B, or you can just write B minus uh, plus B because it has plus sign. Plus B minus six B minus six minus B over B minus six. Then again, you B common factorization by grouping method. B B plus one. One B is left here, so B plus one. Minus six common, so B plus one. 
and minus 6 b minus 6 in the bracket you can write then 1 over b minus 6 and b plus 1 and 6 over b minus 6 now check that b minus 6 b minus 6 is both in uh, the denominator b plus 1 is missing so the lcm will be b minus 6 and b plus 1 in this fraction b uh, you will multiply 1 because it has same denominator like lcm minus here 6 bracket b plus 1 is missing so b minus 6 bracket b plus 1 right write it under one bracket one minus one minus six b minus six but expand it okay along with the sign one minus six is equals to minus five minus six b over b minus six b plus one this is your answer so this was your exercise 6b we have to do all parts right i have done some parts for you and rest of the uh, parts you can do it yourself by uh, following the method which i have done it for you you must remember your identities how to do breaking up or middle term and also do how to uh, cancel the terms right so revise all the previous exercises which we have done before and then solve exercise 6b i hope you will understand it very well and also uh, if you have uh, rough register try some uh, work example for this exercise as well okay allah peace